joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. sound. Mm -hmm. ah. Want some? Do I? Yeah, I mean, do you? Yeah, I'd like some. Mm. Oh, there's nothing like some good WWs. Wait, what did you say? Some what? WWs. The candy we're eating? WWs are my favorite candy. My whole life I've been a fan of WWs. I used to go door-to-door to door in my neighborhood as a kid saying, trick or treat, give me some WWs. <laughs> and people would just look at me like I was crazy. Mm. It's because they're called M&Ms, not WWs. M&Ms? Yeah. You've been reading them upside down. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. That doesn't sound like something I'd do. Hey, wow, this is easier. Oh, hey, everybody. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And you're watching The So-and-So Show. What are you doing with the mannequin? I am putting a beard on him. <laughs> yes, that is obvious. I can see that. Yeah, well, who is, who is simultaneously the coolest and weirdest person you know? Uh, Longbeard Carl. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What does that have to do with the mannequin? Oh, well, I've been thinking that me and you are, are pretty good hosts of this show, right? Thanks. But we're not perfect. Okay. We can't possibly be the best hosts ever because we have too many flaws. Speak for yourself. But what if I took the parts we like from different people and made one ultra super host? Uh, wait, wait. So, wait, the mannequin's going to take my place? Come on. It'll be great. Okay, let's see. We have Longbeard Carl's beard, right? We've got uh, Taco Cat T. Uh, it's a taco Cat spelled backwards is Taco Cat. Uh, right. Next, I need... Uh, uh, taco Cow spelled backwards is Woco uh, Cat. I think that our co-host would have an excellent singing voice. Well, I wonder, wonder who... I know. Oh. I know. Our good friend Fred. Eating my tray of lasagna, but I want to give you a big thank you for that big tray of lasagna. Lasagna! That was beautiful. This should remind us. <laughs> How can we ever forget? Okay, our host should be wise, well, like Kellen. I wish I were wise like Kellen. 
Wait, why are you putting... Oh, oh, oh I get it. Because wisdom is like brain smarts that comes from your heart. Oh, it's very wise of you, John. Really? Yeah, we all have our moments. Oh, yes, we do. Let's see. What else would make a perfect host? Lusagna! No, 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 no. Good listening skills. You know, like our friend Leonard. Did someone say ham? I'm a good listener. Hey, say anything to me. I'll repeat it, repeat it back to you word for word. Focus is important. A super host would never get distracted. Focus is important. A super host would never get distracted. Ha uh ha! -huh. Uh, there we go. Now, it just needs one, one more thing. I know. You think you can out focus me? Huh? Huh? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Look at me. Uh, you're out focusing me. Okay. A super host should be funny and uplifting. Oh, wow! Great work, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. Time to test it out. Oh, what do you need me to do? I'll oh, do anything you need me to you're do. You're good, kiddo. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'll be right back. Okay, okay. You need, you need some help? No, no, I got it. Well, he, he looks you're like- You're good. Uh, I, I can help you. I really could. Huh. Oh. Mannequin montage. Finally decided to come back to the show. Huh? Yeah, I think our super host is ready for phase two of his training. What's that? Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Hey Kellen. What's with the giant doll? Oh, it's our brand new super host. Okay. What kind of Bible story do you have for us today? I have. A biblical one. <laughs> Get it? Because <laughs> it's the Bible. <laughs> Never mind. Let's hop to it. Today, we're looking at the very beginning of the Bible, when God created humans. It's in Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 through 28. But before we get there, let me set the stage for you. Right before creating people, God created the world. He created light out of darkness. He created the sky. He created the entire universe. God saw that everything he created was good. Then God said, let us make human beings so that they are like us. Whoa, did you catch that? The first thing God ever says about people is that he wants to make us to be like him. Now that's cool. Next, God said, let them rule over the fish in the seas and the birds in the sky. Let them rule over the livestock and all the wild animals. And let them rule over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created human beings in his own likeness. He created them to be like himself. He created them as male and female. God made us in his own likeness. Or sometimes we say God made us in his image. That means we can learn a lot about ourselves by getting to know God better. And we can also learn more about God from the people we see around us. It's not just when you look up at the stars or see a beautiful sunset that you can feel closer to God. You can see God all around you in everyday moments. 
You can see how God loves to be in relationship with us, how he loves us, how he teaches us, and how he takes care of us. We can see God's heart when people are kind and loving to one another. You can learn a little bit of how joyful and fun God is when we spend time with our friends. And here's the deal. God is creative. He's strong and brave. He's extremely smart, but he's also gentle and caring. And that's just to name a few of many amazing things that come from our Heavenly Father. All of us, even with our differences of appearance, of skills, of personalities and passions, we are all made in the image of God. Wow, that's spectacular. That, that makes me feel really special and important. It should. Every person on this planet is incredibly valuable because we were made in the image of God. Amazing. Thanks, Kellen. You got it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Kellen. Wow. It's, it's crazy to think that I, John, of the Basement Studio, am a carrier of God's image. Yeah. Uniquely and wonderfully made. A child of God. Yeah. Seriously, this is amazing. Aren't you excited? Yeah, I am. I just, I'm just realizing how much our ultra super host maybe wasn't such a good idea. Oh? No, I, I'd rather have a co-host who is made in God's image, one who can talk and play games and blink. Someone like a... <laughs> Someone like you, pal. I can't do that without moving my lip. <laughs> <laughs> You're a great host. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Yeah. So, uh, what most about my hosting skills reminds you I was made in God's image is my good looks, my, my sense of humor, mm. is my minty fresh breath. <sighs> yeah. Reveal the question. How would you describe God? <laughs> That's a big question. Yeah. Kellen gave us lots of great examples like the way God loves us or how he's brave and smart and gentle. But, well, like he said, that was only a few descriptions. Mm -hmm. What pops out in your mind when you think of God? And we will see you guys next time. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And I'm Warren. And the, uh, this was the this was the so and so show. Did you hear that? Yeah. Just leave the room quietly. Shh. Shh. I can't go sideways. You're gonna have to pick me up. Where are you going? Ah! Hey, Brandon. Check it out. Look at my blinking. Pretty good, huh? I can't find my glasses, though. Do you know where they are? Brandon, come on. You know I can't see anything without my glasses. Buddy, come on. What, what's wrong with you? Come on, we just talked about being created in the image of God, and you're being rude. God's not rude. Come on. And I'm Warren. <laughs>